Hello there singing friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. So one of my patrons asked me to react to a video that the singer from the Wagaki band created that's like a tutorial on how to sing the song Senbon Zakura. So before I react to that, I want to watch the original Wagaki band singing Senbon Zakura so that I can really understand what she is singing about. So before we jump in, um, I wanted to give you a little background on the Wagaki band because I don't know anything about them. So I'm going to be learning right along with you. So the Wagaki band is a Japanese band that combines rock music with Wagaki, which is traditional Japanese musical instruments and Shigen, which are Japanese poems reciting art. And it says their early songs were adapted from Vocaloid recordings, but they have since written their own original music. All right, and then I looked up Vocaloid music and apparently this is like um, a singing voice synthesizer software product. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is like a, um, like a, a singing voice that's created from an instrument basically. So you're like creating an anime singing voice or something. So I guess that the original song was created using this um, this synthesizer instrument singing the song, and then the Wagaki band covered this song. All right, <laughs> so that is all I know about this, and I'm mystified by this description. So this is going to be really interesting for me to hear the original song and then to watch this um, this tutorial. So I'm not going to film me watching this whole thing because the video is going to be ridiculously long. Um, but I am going to put links to the uninterrupted videos below as usual in the description box, as well as all of my relevant links. You can find my courses and how to get me to react to something. Um, I'm going to include as much as I possibly can of it. Um, but I think it would be just unmanageably long for me to include, um, the entire tutorial. All right. So that being said, let's check this out. I'm going to watch the live version of the Wagaki band featuring Amy Lee um, singing the song Sen Bon Zakora. This is live premium symphonic night two. All right. So obviously Amy Lee, the singer from Evanescence. So this is a, a guest appearance by her. pause it there for a moment. I just don't want to get flagged. Um, so this is really cool. I'm like, what am I watching? <laughs> There's so much going on. It's so interesting and unique. I've never heard anything like this before. Just the combination of the traditional Japanese instruments, which I've never heard before. And then they have an entire orchestra. It's visually very stunning and beautiful. And um, the singing style is really interesting. There's a lot of um, very 
ornamented melodic phrases that sound very complex. So I am really looking forward to seeing the tutorial on how the singer sings like that because it is really, really beautiful and sounds like it requires a lot of training and agility. So very, very cool so far. I love the energy too. Um, I just feel like I've been like transported to an alternate universe, you know, and this is like such an interesting, unique sound and something that I've never experienced before. So it's really cool. <laughs> love how it's like very catchy and there's like a lot of like pop sensibility to it you know that like melody that that da 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 the main melody and like neighboring notes and things like little turns and and riffs and things but if you strip it away it's actually a very like catchy hooky almost simple melody that really sticks in your ear i really like the just combination of elements um there's a lot of like cognitive dissonance for me happening with like the rock um instrumentation but then you also have like this like wooden recorder and surprisingly the frequencies of that instrument really carry over the other stuff you know and there's like an orchestra there's so much happening but you can like really hear clarity of everything that's going on um yeah it's just really really cool just like visually stimulating and like orally really stimulating and it's like my brain doesn't even know what to like make of everything <laughs> you know it's really really cool
nice. I loved the harmonies that Amy Lee added. Those were really, really pretty. And I also just loved the like, um, the crowd work that the other vocalist was doing with the like, hey, 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 hey on the offbeat, you know, like the combination of all three vocalists was really, really interesting. So yeah, a lot of elements. There's so many musicians on stage. You've got a full freaking orchestra. I loved seeing the like recorder guy take a solo. That was really cool, you know? Um, everybody seems like they're doing an amazing job playing their instruments. And the whole thing was just really, really um, something that I've never seen or heard before. So it was very exciting, very, very cool combination of elements. So yeah, so let's jump right over to the tutorial and um, see how the singer of the Wagaki band explains how she sings the vocals in the song Sen Bon Zakura. YouTube of the Wagaki band of vocal, Suzuhana Yuko. え、人であれば、すぐに、え、詩吟風に歌うことができるので、え、皆さんぜひチャレンジしてみてください。それでは行ってみたいと思います。all right, first of all, <laughs> she's so cute. I love her. Oh my god. <laughs> her personality is just adorable and I love seeing like the little teapot and like the bunny on the piano. It's just really really sweet and adorable. Um, so what she just said was that um if you know how to use vibrato, then you can sing in Shigen style. So vibrato is like, you know, you can sing with a straight tone where your pitch doesn't oscillate at all, like, ah, and then if you sing with a vibrato, ah, you're oscillating your pitch. So that's what a vibrato is. So let's see how she's going to utilize it in the Shigen style. So she's singing it without, um, with in a normal way. So I'm assuming that this is without vibrato. So I think that melody is gorgeous. Really, really lovely. Da 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 da. Da 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 na na na. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Da da na 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 na. Da da na 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 na. Very pretty melody. Jumps around a lot. Not easy to sing. Da 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 da. I like that little turn there. Da na 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 na. That's her nice vibrato there. Okay, so now let's see how the Shigen style differs. <laughs> Now I understand when she's saying strengthen and weaken. So she's really using dynamics, right? She's going in and out of being very loud and connected and really in her chest voice and then flipping and allowing that transition between your, your chest voice coordination and your more light head voice coordination. So you actually get what would sound almost like a crack, you know? It's something that we tend to try to smooth out in Western music a lot, although some singers don't. Like if you think about... um. Dolores Riordan from the Cranberries, you know, she has that famous song Zombie where she really uses that flip um, or that break in her voice as like a stylistic choice to really add a lot of uniqueness to her performance. So now I understand what she's saying when she says using strength and weakness, right? So she's going very strong and then very quiet and she's allowing her voice to break or um, really shift out of one muscular coordination to another coordination. So you get that really interesting flip in the vocal. So let me try to see if I can imitate her. So there, she really digs in. Da 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 da. 
and then she gets very quiet. Ah, 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 right? She gets really, really quiet, and you hear that break. Da, 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 da. Right? You kind of get that like break where it almost sounds like a crack, but she's using it in a stylistic way on purpose. I don't know if I would be able to do it and not sound horrible, but she's figured out a way <laughs> to allow her voice to crack in like a stylistic way that's not like not pleasing. I would have to really work on that to see if I could、um, perfect that stylistic way of singing. ホースをイメージしてください。ちょっとね、家にホースがなかったんで、これで代用したいと思います。え、これをホースだと思ってください。このホースをすごく周りがま筋肉があったとして緩んだ状態と普通にキュッと締めた状態と逆にこう潰して
and you know how the tube collapses quickly and opens back up. I think it's really helpful to have those visual aids, especially since your voice is inside of your body. So a lot of it is really visualizing and, and seeing um, what imagery you can bring to your mind to help you really connect with those feelings when you're singing. Um, pr to produce the sounds that you want to hear. So I think it's really interesting. It's really, really cool to just get a different perspective than like Western music perspective, you know? And, and um, I think she's a really great teacher. I think I would have to practice something like this more to be good at it, you know, <laughs> because it's just a different way of singing and I'm not used to coordinating my voice in that way. But it's really interesting and, um, you know, something that you don't get an opportunity to learn about every day. You know, I'm, I'm constantly studying singing and this is not something that I would ever be exposed to in my schools of thought, you know? And so it's, it's really cool to just get a different perspective because there are so many different musical styles and ways of singing around the world. And um, why should we privilege one over the other? You know, each one is equally valid and it's really cool to hear this perspective. So I thought that was very, very interesting in the section where she talks about um, how if you try to sustain that high pitch with more of like an open sound, ah, you know, that your pitch actually might go flat because it's a very high note. But if you um, apply pressure to squeezing the vocal cords, as she says, it's more, it's easier to maintain that high pitch. That, ah, ah, you know, it's funny because these things that we wouldn't necessarily um, prioritize in Western music singing, you know, putting that like that squeezed sound on the vocal cords is not something that I would advise my students to do. And also the, the break, the flipping between your chest voice and your head voice is something that we usually try to smooth out those transitions in Western music. But you can see that you can use those techniques and really create a beautiful sound. Um, and it's just a different way of using your voice, you know? And a lot of the things that she's talking about, you know, the falsetto, I would say like introducing breathiness into your tone or like when she says the pump comes from your stomach, it's like you using your core muscles to really power your sound rather than your throat you know um so a lot of the stuff that she's talking about is similar to what i teach but i use different terminology but i really like the way that she explains it it's very clear she's a very good teacher and the way that she broke down how to sing the song was really really clear um you know i think it would take me a while of watching this over and over again to really get down those techniques since it's not something that i'm used to doing in the way that i've been taught to sing but i think it's really beautiful and really interesting and it's wonderful to get another perspective on approaching singing you know and to really watch somebody who's a master at this style and like i said when i watched the wagaki bands performing Senbon Zakura, it's like nothing that I've ever heard or seen before. And it's so rare that you get an experience like that, you know, where you really get to see something so new and fresh and interesting. So I really loved it. I thought it was really, really fascinating. And I enjoyed this breakdown. I thought she did a great job of explaining how to do it. Give me another hundred years and maybe I'll be able to perform it like her. <laughs> So thank you for the recommendation. I really, really enjoyed this. I hope that you enjoyed my reaction and I'll see you guys here next time. Until then, take care. And of course, happy singing. Bye.